Hey YouTube, it's Amir here and I'm going to be doing something a bit different in this video. I'm going to be basically saying about the GTX 970 and 980 event and I'm just going to be doing a roundup of pretty much everything that happened during it because afterwards my mind was pretty much blown. I mean, there's loads of stuff that happened in this. So I'm going to start from the beginning, go to the end and this is basically what happened. So <clears throat> to start it off, they basically started with this in-game photography thing that they're going to be building into their graphics cards. And basically what it lets you do is it lets you natively go into a game, take pictures, and you can do this through a free camera. You can have effects on the top of it. Like you can have it um, with less, less saturation, with more saturation, and you can rotate the image and stuff like that all in real time. And one of the things that they're gonna do, which is actually really crazy, is they're gonna let you take super high resolution pictures. So basically it's gonna be 32 times 4K. So you can work that out for yourself, but it's, just gonna be you're gonna be able to get massive photos. I mean, bigger than you're ever gonna really need. And of and there's also gonna be three sixty mode. So you can use a three sixty picture in a VR headset. You can use it on your phone. You can use it in Google Cardboard. It's gonna be available everywhere. So this is really really great for getting some of those great in game photography moments that you'd see. I mean, you see them a lot around the internet. So the second thing that they've talked about is Nvidia VR Works Audio. And this is basically, um, they're going to be adding physics into the game at first. I don't know why this was, why they only put it under audio. But they said about physics being in the game. So when a ball hits into another ball, then it doesn't go through it, stuff like that. And all that sort of stuff, like basically physics, like how stuff works in the real world is going to happen in there. And also sounds are going to be more like real life. So instead of all the sound just coming directionally at you, you're going to be getting sound bouncing off walls and coming back to you. It's just going to sound a lot more like real life. Obviously, this is something I'd love to hear for myself because I don't see how sound can sound a lot more different because it, to me, it sounds really clear, like just listening to game sound anyway. But I'm really looking forward to trying this out if I do get to try it out at some point. And you can see this through a demo they're going to be releasing called VR Funhouse, which is going to be available to people that have VR devices, obviously. And you can try it out through that. But that isn't why I wanted to do this video today. I'm actually super excited about the GTX 1080. This is um, Nvidia's latest graphics card and it's just blowing as the previous cards out of the water pretty much. It's going to make top end graphics available to the masses and I'm really, really excited about it. So I'll start from the beginning. This is pretty much um, a massive project for them. They spent billions to work on it. And yeah, that, this is basically going to be the result. So it uses the fastest stuff that's available in it. Like all the stuff in it's really fast. I'm not going to go into all the technicalities because they're all complicated hardware-y stuff, which, I mean, I don't even understand all of it myself, to be honest. And it's faster than two 980 cards in SLI, which basically means basically two 980 cards put one on top of the other linked together and using the power from both of those. And it's said to be two times more powerful and three times more efficient than the Titan X, which is pretty crazy um, because the price is actually $599 or $699 for the Founders Edition, which I'm not too sure what the difference is. And the thing that makes it so exciting for me is the Titan X was around $1,000, which is way out of people's price range. But bringing it down to $600, that's putting it in a lot more people's price range. So a lot more people are going to be able to get great graphics for a lower price. Because the thing is, graphics aren't just for games. You can use graphics for movies. You can use it for all sorts. So we're just going to be seeing a whole lot more awesome stuff for a much lower budget, which is really, really great. And one thing that they did show there was a really, really detailed model, like kind of movie quality model that was all being rendered in real time, which just couldn't be done on previous graphics cards. It would have been a really, really low frame rate. And this was running about 60 frames per second. But the absolute crazy thing about it is the temperature was only around 67 degrees Celsius, which, I mean, it would have been around 100. And this was on air cooling. I mean, that, that was pretty much unheard of in the past. And then came the 1070, which we don't actually know too much about. We just kind of dropped it out after the um, 1080. And basically, it's still going to be faster than the Titan X, which is crazy because the thing is, it's $379 or $449 for the Founders Edition, which, again, I'll have to look, look into that more. I probably should have done that before this, to be honest. But... You can all tell me what that's about in the comments down below. So I'm really, really, really excited to see people benchmark these two graphics cards. I'm really excited to see how they actually perform. Nvidia's put some of their own benchmarks up, but you really can't tell until it gets into people's hands and they get to play around with it a bit. So the GTX 1070 is coming out later this May, I think the 21st it was. I'll have the date on the screen anyway. 
And the GTX 1070 is coming out on the date that's on screen. I really don't remember. I should have planned this out more. This is this is what excitement does to you. <laughs> and something that's going to be included with both these cards is simultaneous multi-projection, which sounds all complicated, but basically what it is, is without getting into the technicalities and stuff, it basically takes like the usual 2D image that you get and it kind of splits it up into 14 pieces. I think it was 14 or 16. And basically they can change like individual things about those different parts of the picture. So what this is going to let you do is it's going to let you basically see the right perspective when you're looking at multi-monitor setups. So if you've got a monitor here and a monitor like to the side there, this monitor is usually going to be um, warped and it's just going to not, it's just going to look a bit weird. Like if you've got a multi-monitor setup and you play your games, you're going to know what I'm talking about. So basically what this does is it makes the perspective look right. So it's going to be as if you're kind of looking out of a window, like it's going to, the perspective's all going to look right. It's just going to look like there's a window that's tilted this way and you're seeing what's there. I'll put some pictures up so you can see it anyway. And it's also going to do the same VR where it basically has four um, different sections instead of um, just the usual one section that you've seen from each eye. And they're going to be able to basically curve that instead of the stretching effect that you'd usually got in VR to make the whole thing not look distorted. And this is going to save a whole lot of GPU power. And obviously that's going to go into performance. There's going to be a big performance increase. So you're going to be able to see a lot more detailed stuff on VR, which is really great. So the thing is, you're going to get a whole lot more performance in VR. You're going to get a whole lot more performance from your graphics cards. They're all like a lot more affordable, like pretty much half the price affordable. So this is something that I'm really, really excited about. I'm excited to get to see a whole lot more people get these graphics cards. I'd love to pick one myself in the future, like if I'm going to build a PC here, which would be great. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to watch the keynote for yourself, I'm going to link one down in the description down below. It's not their official one, but somebody that records it over it. So there are a few parts where the audio cuts out and stuff, but it's still not too bad. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.